My <laughs> name is Cleveland Brown, and I am here to s- proud to be. <laughs> I fucked it up. That was great. How, how do you want to start this one off, buddy? Episode 172. Ooh, another million ways. To Dude, Die in the I, West is an awful movie by uh, Seth MacFarlane. A Million Ways to Die in the West. Well, Seth MacFarlane usually makes some pretty awful things. Um, I, heard th- I heard that Orphis... Or, 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 Orifice? What? The Orville? <laughs> the Orville. The, the I, heard the or- I heard the Orville was pretty well received. I heard it was pretty decent. I know Ross, Ross liked Ross, it. Ross liked it. But Ross likes many things. Ross, Ross likes little girl anime, you know? So, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't trust Ross's opinion. I'm just Ross kidding. likes that, was, that Dragon Ball Z bullshit, dude. That, that was an unnecessary dig on Ross. <laughs> Ross Ross likes... Is the only reason you said that was because my eyebrows raised when you said it? Like, I Yeah, was like, I would have just kept going on, but the fact you raised your eyebrows at such a degree, I was like, oh, maybe that was mean. <laughs> um, I, I can't get the Cleveland Show song out of my head, dude. You, I've been singing it the past like 20 minutes. You've heard me before we started oh, this yeah, podcast. I've been beautiful. screaming it. I was setting up the, the laptop for the audio, and I was just, my name is... Look, I'm 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 going to have to be honest with you. I'm going to have to put a pause and you can talk to the audience right now if you want. Do, are you, are, do you have to shit No, 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 no. I have to get some water. Oh, I'm My lo- throat I'm is so dry. Thirsty. Do you want to go get water together? Yeah, let's get water together. Okay. We'll be right back. Um how, how are you going to how, how do you want to do this one? How do you want to Um I will find some audio of a, a video of a man falling through a roof <laughs> and put that Put that right here. We had the same there he is. And we're back. Yep. Got ourselves some water. <clears throat> yeah, listen to this. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me give her a spin. So you got that good slurp. Oh, that's good water. I didn't know our fridge. I didn't know our fridge gave off such good that's water. That's smooth. You know, you know it's it's like the first time. Okay, like now whenever I have Fiji, I'm just like uh, I don't I don't like Fiji anymore. I don't either. The first time I had it was back in South Carolina. I remember I was like, I'm, what, I'm gonna try this Fiji shit. And the first time I had it, it was just like amazing. But every time after that first time, I was like, oh wait, it's just water, and it was probably just uh, what's the word that starts with the P that I'm that that's escaping my mind. Purified. No. When 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 your state of mind placebo or, placebo yes I I think the thing about Fiji is Fiji is all just uh it's just aesthetic you know it's like the, it's just the bottle looks cool which the bottle does look really cool Fiji Fiji has a cool design but I honestly like the taste of Fiji is not my not my not my favorite it kind of tastes like tap not with like kind of tastes like the type of tap water I don't like this tap water from our fridge is actually like really good yeah I wouldn't trust the sink. No, no, but that. Fridge, I'm sure there's a filter in the fridge. I've actually become a pretty big uh, tap water guy in the last few months. I've been I've been drinking out of the sink. It, it sounds gross, I, I to a degree, just because it's Los Angeles. But I you let it run a little bit. Right? I have been drinking out of the sink I don't know in if my that's bathroom. Like an urban thing. I've been I've been filling up at night if I'm really thirsty. I'll get a cup and I'll go in my bathroom and I'll get water from the sink in there and drink out of that. Which most people are like, you guys sound like assholes because you're like, oh. I, I would never drink out of the sink in my bathroom. But LA the the plumbing in the water is really fucking gross, you know. That's it's most most people probably wouldn't drink out of the sink in their bathroom. Especially well we we learned in Glendale that at the tap water we've talked about this on multiple occasions. In fact, I'm sure we've talked about it so much that Delo Beast could have a compilation of the amount of time. I was talking about water quality, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was actually before you brought that up, I was even thinking that myself. You know what I noticed? That, what? In the Snowy Mega 2017 playlist. The live action Christmas tree video isn't in there. I don't think. <gasps> I know. I, I, I'm gonna go add that. So by the time uh, this comes out, people can't be like. Sing. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until you add it, and I'm gonna take it back out, so then people do get on you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, sweetheart, go to. Bed. <laughs> no more Super Mega. <laughs> It gets to a part. They're like a normal fucking person through the through the whole day. When they see and then, that, that, that that one, the Christmas tree video is not in Snowy Mega 2017 playlist. Their, their brain fucking melts and shuts down. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey, go, baby, go, 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 baby, come on, sweetheart, go. sweetheart. It's okay, it's okay. I when I yelled just now, I thought I heard a weird sound. I realized because we have those fucking metal tables in here. Oh yeah, they they make that high pitched ringing. Got to get rid of those goddamn metal tables. I will break them to pieces. Um, but actually, there's a lot of playlists we have to update. 
Yes. And actually, we got to create a lot of playlists. And we have to update video titles still for really old videos and shit. Yeah. I, I started that and I started going through and then I was like, this is really boring. So I stopped, but I... I need to go back and finish that. Yeah. We'll make Jackson do it. Of course. We'll crack the whip on him. Uh, but we do have uh, <clears throat> our editor, Justin, is <gasps> visiting us, and he will be arriving. Right now it is 7.57 p.m., uh, and I, I I ordered him a, a, a lift, and he's, oh, 8.13, so... He he's gonna eventually come in, but he can't really sit in. Wait, is we don't... he coming to the office? Yes. Ooh, ooh, fuck yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know I was gonna see Justin literally like fifteen minutes from now. Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh my god. I think god. we're all gonna go out to eat afterwards, and then we're going to uh, record a live action video for uh, Snowy Mega. Oh, I am excited. I am very excited. <laughs> oh god damn, dude. I didn't realize I was gonna see Justin, so I'm so excited. I've been I've been waiting to see that boy for quite some time. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be great. We're um, you got him sleeping out in the doghouse this time. You and I have a surprise for him. Oh, we do that. We talked about this in a let's play, but but, but people would ruin it by because it won't happen by the time he comes out. We we uh, I don't even like now he's gonna be expecting it because people are gonna be like Justin, I either have a surprise for you. No, I would. I would love if he. I. I would love to talk about what we're gonna do. I just don't want people to go and start tweeting at him and stuff. Yeah, they're already tweeting at him, so he's suspecting something. But yeah, he doesn't know what. Like you're in for. You're in for a treat, Justin. <clears throat> yeah, when you least suspect it, or maybe when you most suspect it, because now you're on to us. He probably. I don't think it'll be a huge surprise. He'll be like, "Wait, what?" <clears throat> yeah, he'll do. He'll do like a wait. Really? We'll talk about it in in next week's episode of the podcast 173, which is the, the snowy, mega, snowy mega episode. Yeah. Oh. You okay, buddy? Yeah. I just had that coffee. I just had yeah. it's making me burp. I understand. You know, I need that coffee to see. We're we're trying to have healthy habits, so instead of having to rely on things in the entertainment industry like cocaine to do all these podcasts, we have to we drink things like coffee. Eventually, it will work its way up to cocaine, but right now we're still on coffee. So yeah. Have to be banging fat lines on the on the on the desk before we start the podcast. You know, I've been out to so many bars in LA, not one fucking person has offered me any cocaine, and I'm starting to feel somewhat insulted. Like left out. You left out, yeah. Like, like all right. Like you know, you know, you hear the whole like, oh, you go to any bar in LA, you're bound to see someone doing cocaine. You can get cocaine easy at a bar, and I'm like, what do you? LA is one of the <clears throat> cocaine cities. It's see, LA, I'm, Miami, and New York. Yeah, I'll be offered meth outside of the Game Grumps office, but I won't be offered <laughs> cocaine in your joke. local bar. Ryan was has literally <clears throat> been offered meth right outside the Game Grumps office by Brent, believe it or not. <laughs> uh, but no, that, that was just a weird thing. You just that have just to. Odd. I, I, I think. I think. Uh, co- cocaine. You just. You got to be around around the the right kind of people at bars. Why did the computer make that sound? Is it plugged in? Is it's, it charging? It's, it's like. It's like. Don't it do in cocaine. Ah, fuck! I almost spilled my water. Did you, did you answer my question? Is it plugged it's in? It's running low. Jackson. We need the charger. Jackson. He's gonna go get the charger. And the conversation has splintered. Listen to the sound of my voice. Uh, Hold on. I needed to wet my whistle. (coughs) 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 Are you okay? Hey, you okay, man? Sorry, uh, the the charger's almost here. Don't worry. Anyway, I was saying, uh, let's do some cocaine tonight. Your first. Experience. Do you have any? I have tons of cocaine. <clears throat> oh shit! Then no, why? I don't, why? I don't okay. have any cocaine. That that is that is that's not a drug I would like to possess. Jackson, come on in here. Jackson, do you have any cocaine? On me? I don't think so. Why? Okay, well, okay, Jackson. If you were offered like you were just at a party and someone was like, "Let's do meth." Your first reaction, your gut reaction. Well, this is me who doesn't even like smoking weed. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, this is me who doesn't even like smoking weed, so I'm going to say Close no. The mic, buddy. This is me who doesn't even like smoking weed, so. Well, meth isn't an herb, Jackson. <laughs> hey, man. That's what the government tells you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But uh, to answer your question, no, I would not do meth at a party. 
I wouldn't do math in general. You actually. said that like I offended you by asking you. No, I'm just trying to speak louder so the mic picks it up. It's going to be hard for the mic to this, pick this it up. This is my inside voice. It's not really going to be hard for the mic. It's just going to be in the background, I guess. Out, you got you to... Gotta, for these mics we're using now on the podcast, you got to have outdoor voices when you're not on mic directly. I like that. Th- that might not even have worked. Cause you know, no, I think I see the wave... F- you see how small that waveform is compared to my talking voice right now, and how close you were to the mic. Like you got to be. These right mics up on are these. the business, Jackson. Ryan, that's because I'm missing so much testosterone compared to you. That's true. But <clears throat> that doesn't. Exp- and then that's why Matt turned his mic up so loud. <laughs> I didn't turn my mic up more. What now if I was like self conscious okay, about testosterone, so I turned the, mine way up. The thickness of the waveform. That's just. That's simply the volume of the voice. That does not dictate. Like it deepness, does, not testosterone. De- no, not testosterone. But like, I'm talking about like deepness. Like people, like I would think, like if I was a child looking at a waveform, like the deeper the waveform, like the thicker the waveform, like the like deeper high, the like deeper high. voice I would expect. Uh, but it just has to be like, ah! and it just creates still that creates like a yeah, it's it's, big it's, it's bar. the volume that makes the, the yeah the, the fucking clap is like a big break. yeah yeah clap is just because the clap is super high pitched, you know. Like a low pitch clap would sound weird as fuck. You guys need anything else? No, I think no, we're good. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, 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 careful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Jackson just had a Kramer exit. He did. Not, not, he didn't say the N word, but he, <laughs> he he tripped out of the door. It was very, very Michael Richards esque. Um, 10 minutes till Justin. Oh, shit. 811 is now his. Ooh, it's creeping closer. He, I was going to say that out of you, me, and Jackson. Obviously, if we're going to rank testosterone, you're at the peak. Jackson's in the middle, and I'm at the bottom. And then Justin, throw Justin in the mix. I think Justin actually might be second to the top. Yeah, yeah, he, he he can grow hair. He can grow facial hair for sure. Oh, my, my, my microphone just fell straight into my chest. Well, the microphone stand. The microphone stand, which holds the microphone. Hold on a second. Sorry, the wait. table that we're using is slanted in this odd way where it's really tough to have the microphone stands latch on. Um, it does not want to stay. I was saying though, Justin is uh, a boy. He's younger than me, right? <clears throat> a lot younger than me, and uh, I I feel like he has outdone me in terms of uh, adolescence and puberty uh, by 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 many years. Like I feel like I'll be at Justin's level of of physical maturity I maybe can't... in four or five years. Well, here's the thing: I can't tell if it's due to your hair length or if you've changed drastically like your facial structures changed drastically in the last six months but like when you had longer hair like you look younger you, like you you definitely look i'd say older than you, not older than your age but you look older than you did like with this short haircut you have so you i think you've I've earned some too. points you've when, earned when, I, some when points. I look at my when i look at like videos <clears throat> of myself when I had hair, I definitely look more youthful, which is a reason I'm ready to grow my hair back. So I don't want—I don't want to look like a 30-year-old man yet. Not—not not quite yet. Because the thing is, like, <clears throat> you go back and look at videos of you and I, even at the beginning of Super Mega, like live action videos. There's that then, boyish glee. We looked like babies, dude. I was showing a. God damn it! This microphone <laughs> stand. What stay? It's not the. St- it's the table. The table. Blame okay. the table. Um, because I was showing. You're gonna Carson. have to fix that at some point. I'm, I'll just hold it up with my foot the whole podcast. Hold on, get one second. The way I sees it, there's two dicks. Might as well one of them being sucked. I wish that was a quote in a western. The way I sees <clears> it, pull, pulls up to a campfire. Why? Why a dude's taking a pee and he looks, and all of a sudden there's that other guy with his pants down. And he has two fucking revolvers, big fucking revolvers, just big pointing at him. Big, yeah, big old fat ones. And uh, he goes, "Now the ways I see it." We got two dicks out. Might as well have one going in. <laughs> like a, like an old gay porn, like like cowboy western, a spaghetti western. I'd love to insert those moments in legitimately like fun move, like f- movies that catch people off guard. Well, that's the thing. Like like people, that's what I do. Like I, I talk we've, about. We've it. talked about this before. Like if you and I were ever given some sort of film project, or we had one, I feel like. We'd maintain a, a, a somewhat of an interesting tone throughout, but we'd also, like, at least for me, I just picture fucking with an audience so bad in terms of the tonal shift. And your mic is so I, fucked! I, I will kill this microphone, dude. Hold on, let me come help you. 
sorry, what guys. are these guys? Amateurs? My microphone stand keeps f- slipping off the table. It's slipping and sliding. It just won't. There it goes again. Um, I think it's that air, that part of the table is weak. We're having mic stand issues, and Justin just got here. We're gonna go welcome him, and then we're gonna continue the podcast. What a fucking shit show. Okay, okay. Dude, I'm so excited for this set to be set up and lit, and then also, like, every time we can, like, candles around the set and shit. Uh, Justin. Yo. Come, come say hello. I need to say hello. Where at? Right into this microphone. Hello, everybody. Uh. It's Justin! I said hi. Okay. Yep. And he will be on, uh, he's actually gonna be a very prominent guest for Snowy Mega. Yes. And we're recording more than just a series while he's here. I know, I know. You'll you'll be seeing a, a bit of Justin soon on the channel because uh, he is here. Y'all got tips and tricks the 100th issue here? We do. It's yeah. A, a viewer gave that to us actually, a live show. You can you can go through that if you want. I will. You can go sit in the waiting room and uh, and look through some <laughs> what magazines. If we had a Justin? waiting room. <laughs> I mean, essentially, it is a waiting room. Pretty much. I feel bad because like the like the original plan was you and I lost an odds are with each other where the first thing uh, we would have to do would be to uh, go to my That's place right, right away. Uh, order Papa John's and watch uh, Schindler's List. I'm forgetting, one. forgetting one. I'm forgetting. Oh, sorry. We were go. Sorry, we were going to make uh, Fortnite Slurp Juice. Fortnite Slurp Juice. Papa that, John's. That doesn't sound bad at all. That sounds actually really nice. Yeah, but uh, now we have to. And I'm afraid it's these because these mics are so new. See the waveforms? That's not even picking up Justin's voice. I, I can dub in Justin's to, you're, voice. You're gonna have to like really crank. I'll it dub up. it in. I'll be like, we were gonna make slurp juice. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah, right. yeah, that okay. works. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I think we have about 15 minutes of content worth so yeah. far. So we got about so, 45 so you minutes. Got a while yet. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can uh, use my computer if you want. I brought my hard drive. Do you want to use my computer? Probably, uh, how long just text me if you need the password. About 45 minutes, probably. 40, 45. I'll just, I'll just chill. Okay. The store closed? Yes, yes please. please. Thank you. Fun. Yeah. Sweet, sweet boy. What a sweet man. I love Justin. Oh, you have to. You, you, you have no choice it, in the matter. It, if you don't love Justin, you are fucked. Get out of here. Nah, I love Justin. He's a, he's a fucking stand-up guy. For the four employees at Super Mega, I guess you and I are technically em- empl- are Technically, yes. We are employed by Super Mega, we are on a payroll. Okay. Because uh, the way the way the business works is Ryan and I are literally like, it's like a job. We literally just just are given a, a set amount every month. It's like we we're, we're just given a taxed direct deposit yes. every month. It's about I'd say it's it's close to almost about a million every month for both of us. <laughs> but I mean, well, the way you're saying it, it's it's basically it's like if the channel's doing better, it's not like we. It's not like we personally take more because remember we're trying to grow a company, so like we just gave ourselves a safe set to that we can take out, so that like I said, almost a million we can live. Yeah. Okay, well that's a lie. It's about a million. Yeah, like very close. Like nine. It's essentially a million. Nine eighty a month. Nine eighty five. I think. You're paying. Oh, I was doing like, I was doing like biweekly payments of nine hundred eighty five thousand. That shouldn't have drained us too much, though. No, we should be fine. <laughs> Could you imagine? All, the, all those suckers over on Patreon. <laughs> those fucking uh, losers, by the way, uh, over at Patreon, uh, you fucking losers. Um, you uh, have a have a 20-some-odd minute Q&A that we just uploaded. and uh, yeah, It's very funny. I had yeah. a good time shooting that one. You were naked for part of it. I was. Uh, I pulled my wiener out. You were sitting there. You complimented my penis during editing, during which was editing, very I nice looked, of And you. I said, damn, your penis looks very large here. And actually, the, fun, uh, the, the funny thing was, uh, like I said, one thing. I think it's like something about the camera warps it because it's so wide. So it, it looked like, big. It, so it extends. It looked large. And, that's, and if, you, if you knew me and you were a guy friend of mine, then you would know that my penis is a very like when you're looking you keep at saying this like you're waiting for me to like jump in and what, help you, when you fill in when like, you're looking you to say? when you when you're looking at ma- like a male anatomy class that's my penis <laughs> <laughs> it even has the arrows pointing no to it no actually head. not even that if you're looking at the statue of like some g- greek m- like mythological person then so that's probably your penis to one of a greek god have you seen how have you seen what those are they made those things small yeah and do you think that's because they did, they just didn't want to have the focus on that, or because that like when because their penises looked like that? When when Michelangelo made the sculpture of David, mm-hmm. is it David? 
I yeah, guess. it's David, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's a sculpture of a dude. He, he obviously didn't know David. So what? What he had to make a conscious decision about the size of his penis and testicles. So he was like, "All right, while I'm sculpting David, I'm going to make a conscious decision to make them this big, or maybe just whoever's the models were, like the when they were mod, like the live model that they used. Maybe he just was like, "That's the penis. Your penis is now the penis of the people." Imagine having to stand there and model for someone sculpting a block of stone. Like a painting's one thing, right? Yeah, just sitting there for it, but. The, the fact that people sculpted that kind of shit back then is fucking mind blowing. Imagine ice sculptors. Imagine it's like their stuff isn't even like Apparently saved. It's just gone. Yeah. So that kind of sucks because you put. It's so beautiful. Much- ice sculptures. I remember the first time I saw one. I think it was a. My dad uh, took me and him on a on a like a cruise. We went to this place island called Little Saint James. <laughs> yeah. <a> fantastic time. <laughs> but um. I remember uh, just seeing that ice sculpture on the cruise ship, and I was just like, whoa! Like, it blew my mind. Because for the longest time, what? Ice was, you thought of icebergs, snow, uh, or just kind of, I don't know. You didn't really think of it. Mario level. Yeah, just, it's ice. And all of a sudden. It's just like a blue block. Then you look at it, and you're, oh my God, this can be beautiful. And that's probably how how one experiences art. They notice one of those things for the first time, where yeah. it's like, where they see a movie and they go for themselves personally. This is this that was way more than entertainment. That was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Really, when people listen to this podcast, <laughs> no, I not a single person should be able to have that feeling while listening to this podcast. I don't think I've ever I'm seen kidding. I'm school kidding. School. I'm not going to judge you if if you derive some sort of enjoyment like that from the podcast. It's actually very sweet. It's very endearing. It makes it. I just don't believe it because it's like it's just us talking about stupid shit. But I don't think I've ever seen ice sculpture. What? I don't think I've ever seen one like in person. I can't think of any specific memory where I've ever seen one in real life. I just I just thought of something where like it's you know like the fancy hotels or whatever where you've you've seen that like they'll have a the animal like animals tied like with the towels they'll make animal towel looking things yeah, yeah, yeah like that except they just leave like a animal ice sculpture on your bed and it's <laughs> just like melting so like like if you if you check in late you're like, oh, <laughs> yeah my bed is soaking wet God we got to get there before the ice sculpture melts. I mean that'd be a good motivator to get to get to the hotel. Or else you have to sit in like wet, cold sheets for the night. I have I have never slept on a water bed either. I don't ever think I've even seen a water bed in real life. My uncle used to have a water bed, That's and it was thing. interesting. Have you? Did you ever lay on it? Did you yeah. ever sleep in it? I was I was scared to pop it. Did you ever sleep in your uncle's water? No. Bed? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying to get something out of there. I was waiting for you to be like, yeah. Get... No. I I was trying to bring repressed memories that would put you into a state of PTSD from the trauma. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, I don't I don't understand how waterbeds can be that comfortable because well, I mean, this is coming They're not I don't think I've it's never comfortable. Felt one, so maybe it's the most comfortable thing on like, I, 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 where there's no support. No. It's like you're just like and then <laughs> it's pops. not comfortable. I sw- well th- I guess it's no, not even, f- I guess I was like trying to think of, like with sex, I guess it could help with the movements, but then it's like, there can be too much movement where it's like you can't get a, like a firm grip on things. What if it pops? I'm speaking from, not experience, but from, so you're talking about, like, from the hours that I've analyzed through pornography. So, so sex on a waterbed, in your mind, the, you know, the <laughs> physics of how it might work, and you're basing this off the example, your uncle had a waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> You just had this like, dude. I don't know what I would do if you had like a like like a sudden severe like actual breakdown. I wouldn't know what to do if I like if like th- people describe it like that. There'll be a moment in their like adulthood, and I've known people that have described it, and it's the weirdest thing where there'll be a moment of clarity where they go, "Oh, that wasn't okay." Because for the longest time, you're looking at it from your POV, and through your POV is like you think you're the smartest person that's ever lived for the longest time when you're like when you're a child when you're you know what i'm saying so it's like when when you're a kid and you have this fantastical view on things and you also like perceive yourself as some sort of mature person um i i i feel like it's it's harder for you because i don't know it's like a day by day and then when you get to that point it's like a holy fuck 
I hate thinking that <laughs> our stupid, shitty podcast could be the thing that, like, triggers someone's horrible PTSD <laughs> attack. <laughs> or, like, I did, the whole time you we were saying that, I couldn't stop laughing because I just... I know. That's why I, like... Well, that's I why my that's why I seem distracted because, like, I'm trying to explain... Like, you're, like, on the verge of laughing while it's telling, like, it's horrible that people, you know, go through these horrible th- th- things. And then, <laughs> no, but, like, Matt's just cracking up Why? Because I was thinking about what you just screamed. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> I'm about to shit my pants. Are you? I am. But I don't want to interrupt this podcast again. There's already been so many interruptions. But, like, if you were over here right now, you would not be be having fun. Yeah. I am I am letting them loose. And uh, it's bad. Do you smell them? Luckily, we have a Christmas candle in between us. So if I, would I smell it? If you came over here, yeah. It's really bad. Ooh, is it, like, eggy? No. It just smells like Like feces. some sulfur? I actually, you know, we have to get the poo-poo talking. Uh, you guys... Last week... Did I talk about what I did today? No, but you guys last week were very concerned. Uh, last week's episode was Ryan's colon, and you guys were very concerned... Uh, about my colon. I saw in the comments. I saw, you, I saw nothing but overwhelming... Uh, support. Support for Ryan's colon. Yeah. And um, we do have some updates. We have, we have, some, we have some updates on that, uh, which we will get to. Um, Just had to let one loose? Or you ha- you're having to think? What's going on? I'm trying to think if I need to like go. Or if, if go. You hold it out. You can just go. Don't interrupt the podcast again, though. We're going to interrupt it with ad reads, and I'm sure during the ad read, we'll be like, oh, it's time for ad reads. Let's just chill out real quick. Just just go take a shit, and we'll come back. Okay. Well, when I, back, I am not the one to tell you. I'm not the one to be able to be like, no, 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 no. You you can deal with it, Matt. Because, like, I, still I, under, it. I understand. When I, but yeah, but you have a, you had a medical condition. I, I just have to take shit. Yeah, I can't wait to go to the, to the, colonoscopy well we will we'll give updates on this as soon as i'm back uh yeah. to transition i'll do another sound effect no no can i choose the sound yeah you could choose the sound um a horrible car accident <laughs> okay <laughs> that's fucking awful let's talk about you ryan let's yeah. talk about you let's uh let's let's talk about uh your um, let's talk about your recent developments since since the last time we recorded the podcast. Okay. So where did we last leave off in the story of Ryan's colon? I was getting up every like it felt like sometimes uh, within a span of like a four five hour period I was getting up about every thirty or so minutes to go empty out my bowels and I would be bleeding. It would be liquidy, you know. Yes. Yes. Uh, recent update. So after about three weeks of that constantly, my shits have started to have form again. I have not shit a complete, I have not shit a log yet. They're just kind of small. Not a log yet. Deer droppings. Okay. But not hard. Still kind of soft. Still bloody. Um, But uh, I had to actually pick through it today, so I got a good sense of the texture. Now now, now tell us why you had to pick through it. What, what What was that about? Um, <clears throat> because, uh, they wanted my fecal samples so they could, uh, I guess, test it for certain bacteria to see whether, like what kind of bacteria, if it was a bacterial infection, um, it could be pointless cause it could not be that. And I could actually have some sort of illness, but I mean, we'll see the only, the only uh, trouble right now is like these tests are a little are a lot more specific in terms of what they're looking for and it, it, I think reaches a wider like there's more variety in the things that it can pick up uh, versus uh, the one I took at the hospital because it was only kind of like you know I you saw what I, I had three separate vials two with different liquids oh, you sh- one you with showed no up liquid. to work today prepared with your little your little it was like a 23 and me kit but for your shit <laughs> yeah and you had to go in the bathroom with a special contraption and yep harvest your and I had to sit there pick like uh, the uh, so each vial you unscrew the cap and the cap has like a little kind of shovel like a (laughs) miniature shovel attached to it I showed you I think you know I saw yeah and uh, you have to scoop up your poop and put a certain amount in each (laughs) vial and uh, some two of the vial one vial has a red liquid another vial has like a clear liquid and then another vial is completely empty Um, so it's up to me to uh, 
pick through my feces and I have a bad gag reflex. So I was having trouble because like whenever I see the texture, I'm just like, I imagine it on my tongue and going down my throat. I don't, like whenever I see anything disgusting, that's the first thing I picture. I'm like, uh, and I can't do it. I can't handle it. But I managed to do it and I uh, wrapped it up and I sent it off uh, to go get tested. And then uh, so Friday is the colonoscopy and hopefully with uh, we talked about that the fecal, last week, right? Yes. We talked about the colonoscopy? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. For the fecal, so through the fecal samples and through uh, the colonoscopy, hopefully we'll uh, come to some sort of conclusion. I'm hoping it it was actually just some bacterial infection, um, but- Stay tuned, guys. A, a test that I took at the emergency room, they couldn't find any whatever bacteria, so that's why they just were like, it's- colitis in the transverse colon or whatever well so we'll see yeah stay tuned guys that was that was this week's installment of ryan's colon um maybe next week we'll have a conclusion maybe the week after that i don't know i mean they're going i I assume like right then and there they're going to tell me what it is so so as we speak right now actually as we record this podcast your your shit is is in transit in the united states uh postal system god bless fedex yeah so someone is handling that and has no idea they're holding American Let's Play Ryan McGee's feces. It feels wrong. Like when I was doing it, like when the guy was like, when another person was like, hey, do you need that sent off? And I was like, yeah. He's like, okay. And then he held his hand out. Like there's still like for me, I'm like. He didn't know it's No, in. but I'm like my poop, my, like my shit's just in there. And he's taking it. He's like, yep, all right. He's probably thinking it's probably like a Christmas gift for someone or whatever. But no, it's the uh, three vials of my sh- uh, shit. I was saying you should just save yourself the trouble and just get straight in the FedEx bag. <laughs> sealed that up and, and thrown it in the mail. Um, I hope I did everything right. Imagine being the, the nurse that opens it up. It's like, hey, let's get these vials. <laughs> open it up. It's just like a three-day-old shit just like on the inside of a like just smeared all over the inside of the bag. Because, you know, I'm sure there's been times where that <laughs> someone has not done it right. I guarantee in history, some dumb fuck has just straight up shit in the bag they gave them. Because they because in the kit, you, you have a, a FedEx bag, like a waterproof one. I'm, I guarantee someone I had to just put it I, so, straight in that bag. Before. I had to put the vials as well as some like crushed like cold pack in this plastic bag that you have to close. And then you put that in the FedEx bag. Oh, okay, so it's like multiple layers of uh, to keep the contamination. Because I can't imagine that would be... Be Someone's got to open up. Uh, like uh, I couldn't do that. Oh, the poop is here. <laughs> so, would you look at this? Bacteria. Your uh, your doctors. It's gonna be like Christmas morning. For <laughs> oh, I'm like, sure. Ooh, a little little. <laughs> look what look what. Oh, we got cold. I just love the fact that someone's gonna wake up early and part of their work day is just sifting, like just ha- having to at least maybe not even sift through it. They're gonna have to deal with my poop. They're gonna have to hold it. Put it in a little machine. Well, they're not gonna physically like <laughs> <They're> gonna <laughs> empty it out into their. They're palm. gonna tap it out into their palm. Oh, all right, get like a little like <laughs> one of those like puts in like some AirPods. Now let's get down to business. Just holding your shit. <laughs> you know those jewelers have those things they like wear. Just like he just starts like kind of like. All right, it starts kind of like, like grooving to side to side. Listening to his Ed Sheeran while he's digging. Does a little your spin. Shit. Like flips it up. Oh, that's that's nice consistency. Holding it up to the light, like oh, all right, all right. The camera pans out through through a window. It's like, yeah, he's the best there is. Do you, do you think he can solve this crime? Oh yeah. If there's anyone, it's him. <laughs> that's when the FBI is about to come pick him up for some shit related crime. <laughs> yeah, the big. It has to deal with the assassination of the president of the United States. <laughs> Involving feces. <laughs> Involving. So someone someone shot a shit through a sniper. <laughs> <rifle. laughs> So fast. It was a bullet covered in like shit, infected with disease. It wasn't even a bullet. It was just a shit. <laughs> they fired it through a, like a sniper rifle, and it went through the president's head and killed him. So, it, like the, the the first step in tracking down who did this is we have to locate who shit it is. But yeah. you're being set up to be framed because the assassination's about to happen. So they're looking for someone to give their sample. They poisoned you weeks ago, Ryan, because they knew you would give a stool <laughs> sample. So they're waiting for your stool sample. Once they have it, they're gonna assassinate the president with that shit. I'm going to be framed. You're going to be framed. What if this happens? Because, you know, <laughs> someone, someone there's universes blasts where blasts my shit through the skull of Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Half of his face is just blown, blown away. Off, but it, but, it's, but it, it, was, it was literally from like a high-powered, like pressurized and, shit launcher. And through his open skull, Melania, not through the sight, but through the smell, throws up into his, <laughs> into his now jack-o'-lantern of a skull. I thought you were going to say it was going to be like the, the JFK thing where <laughs> she has like shit all over her dress. She's like picking it up. She's like, like picking the little pieces of shit up <laughs> off the ground. 
Oh, that's really fucked up. <gasps> Imagine JFK, except it was a lighter story. Like, JFK just shit himself, and, like, you see, you go, like... <laughs> no, no, no. The driver, like, shits himself on the present. It's all over his oh. face. <laughs> and sh she's, like, freaking out, picking up the pieces of shit. <laughs> Why is she picking up the driver's Because <laughs> she's shit crazy! To put it back in. She's a crazy woman. We have to put this back in you! <laughs> <laughs> no oh. shit on this car. Mm. I can't. Oh, I can't have any shit on the back. <laughs> this is a nice car. Damn. Shit. Right, is the Secret Service going to show up at our door because of that hypothetical? The president being killed by your shit? No way. Right? I saw, I saw your eyes shift. <laughs> they have better things to do than... They have better fish to fry. They, they know we're good. They have school shooters to find. Y'all better go do that. Because <laughs> no. y'all ain't been too good at that one. No, but just like on Reddit, it'll be like... Uh, potential mass shooter stopped by like it's the grandma sent a tip in or something like that i see a lot of those stories where like mass shootings were stopped like there was one there's one time where apparently justin was out here and we went to santa monica pier later we found out that like a mass shooting was stopped on the day that we went there and so that was like not like he was showing up with a gun and then they kept tackled him but like he'd been posting yeah, stuff about a certain you. date and all that shit i believe damn people are insane man i, I just, I just I, well I, there's I, a lot of people who just aren't right in the head right so like a lot of them i'm not saying you can't take seriously but like i, I i'm saying that like like you have to sift through like the legitimate threats and just like the people that are talking because and they're the 4chan bullshit yeah yeah you know. which they're all very like uh Every single one of those is you should be looked be taken at seriously. Yeah, because that's the thing is you never know. You know, you don't want to miss one. If it's like some kid talking out of his ass because he wants attention online and is trying to be edgy versus like someone who's about to actually yeah go do a fucking dude. Okay, this is this is kind of fucked up. In ties in what we were talking about last week, I was downtown yesterday and I'm walking down the sidewalk and I saw a billboard or uh, not a billboard, a bus stop ad. And I'm not kidding, for shooting insurance. Shooting, as like, in like mass shootings for shooting. Insurance. What? Yeah, like if you get shot in a mass shooting, here's it was like insurance. it was like it was like 100 people die every day from shootings. I mean, blah blah blah, mass shootings. And I was like, is the solution seriously? You have to buy shooting insurance? Well, I I feel I like, like what the fuck? I, I I thought it was a joke ad at first when I saw literally it was like the picture was like some scene of uh, it was black and white and some shit was happening. And it was. And, and it was literally for, like, a, uh, some insurance company offering shooting insurance. And I was like, shooting insurance? It's like, it doesn't surprise me because I've, we talked about it before on the podcast. That seems like a billboard that seems weird to have in Los Angeles, but wouldn't seem too weird to see in South Carolina. Because South Carolina has a lot of, like, they, at least they used to have, like, a lot of gun and ammunition ads specifically targeted at the holiday season. Like Christmas themed gun ads in the airport too, and like there was um there was one billboard where we talked where I talked about it before um where it was like Santa it's like with a gun. it's like these are is essentially these are there no good guys have guns too and it was like a like a female nurse with like a pink AR fifteen she's the one that's gonna shoot your shit at Donald Trump <laughs> yeah see it's all part of the conspiracy <laughs> I always thought it was weird getting off the plane in in Columbia South Carolina and seeing an ad for an AR fifteen. And like ads for bullets, like in the airport. I was like, in the airport? Oh what yeah, that's weird. We I should... think there's a, I think the U.S. Army or someone advertises themselves like kind of directly out of the airport. No, they, they didn't. Do, I, yeah, there's a I lot didn't, of those ads. I checked when I was coming out of the Columbia Airport last time I was there. I didn't see it. Nice there, show. a lot of the times, uh, one at least one of the few times where I was uh, going past that area. There was a helicopter with two Gatling guns on the side, and it was about border security or something. What do something. they need that for in Columbia, South Carolina? <laughs> a helicopter with massive machine guns on the side. The uh, Mexicans are taking that. You know, they're they're taking that good old time warp from Mexico to <laughs> Columbia, South they're Carolina. They're jumping through the, the time space uh, <laughs> shift, and they're they're ending up in Columbia. So you know, they gotta. I'll, you know, the, it's not just the border we have to worry about anymore. With the, with these with these new time shifts, they're jumping through. It's a, you, you never know where they're gonna show Those up. Goddamn Mexican wizards! Jump jumping through t the time and space continuum to steal our jobs. Stealing our fucking jobs. They're, ju they're jumping through time, space, continuum warps. They're ending up in Massachusetts, Minnesota, South Carolina. You can't predict it. It's the, these are dirty, dirty portals. I wouldn't get close to one of these portals, folks. <laughs> you don't know what comes in and what goes out. Poo-poo, who knows? No, has anything funny, funny, haha -ha happened with Trump recently? Well, they file articles of impeachment, <laughs> so that's that's funny, huh? I guess <laughs> there's nothing. Well, nothing's gonna happen because Senate's not gonna pass that shit. 
They're not yeah. going to pass that shit on through to the other side. But... And even if he was impeached, that doesn't mean he's going to be removed. Yeah, that just means that, I, he, I think that just a, means he can be charged with the with yes. the crimes. And I think it's I think it's important that even <clears throat> though yeah the the Republican Senate will not impeach Trump, I think that it is personally from my leftist cuck hold view, which you do which you do have. You're, I, you're I do a cuck. A, I have, you're, I'm a, you're cuck. a leftist I'm a cuck. California cuck. I yeah. think I think that it's good that this is happening because at least the people that were voted in in 2018 are you know they're doing what they're voted in to do and they're they're trying their hardest and if they're blocked by a senate then that's also the government doing it's uh, that's i mean that's the branches right and that's the Mm -hmm. balance of power yeah but there there you have it so we'll see what happens with that probably nothing we're gonna have them for another four years after uh, this next election is through how about when this next erection is through (laughs) because biden's been fucking like going a bit bonkers I guess he's. Do you see when he sucked his wife's finger? Yeah. Did you see where he got in a fight with someone? Like the push-up thing. Yeah. Chapo Trap House actually did a. um, They did a hypothetical a long time ago where they joked about Joe Biden challenging someone to a push-up contest, and then he it happened in real life. So, (laughs) apparently, there's been like multiple instances of of the guys on Chapo Trap House, uh, like predicting the future and that that was the most recent one that came true so well i predicted the nintendo switch you did i remember that but did you predict and i predicted um we predicted a lot what, of what did i predict i predicted there's, there's oh in hair there was a there was like a podcast that i did with barry on blade runner where i was talking about oh what's that guy's name uh hold on one second i need to yell for justin 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 Justin, who plays Drax? What? What's what's the name of the guy who plays Drax? Dave Bautista. Bro, that's fucking Dave, Dave Bautista. 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 Yeah. Okay. So I was talking about Dave Bautista uh, on that podcast at some point, and um, I mentioned how Dave Bautista looks like someone who is ripped out of the Gears of War universe. And then in Gears of War 5, he was put in as a DLC character in Gears of War 5. What if, it, what if it's because they heard the podcast? And like, you know They're what? such big fans of the G Club. Dude, someone working on Gears of War might have been listening to the Game Grumps podcast. <laughs> or Dave Bautista was just big because of Guardians of the Galaxy. And or someone from I guess, or, uh, Gears Infinity of War, War was listening to the Game Grumps or, podcast. Or someone from, from Epic, uh, from not Epic, uh, from Cock. Co- are you uh, saying they're not epic? From the Coalition, that's the studio. The Coalition? That yeah, that's the like studio. Some, like, Rebel Force. That's the that's the studio that took over uh making uh solely Gears of War Gears of War titles, which nice. I think a company uh has done something similar to that now uh where a certain company was either I don't know if it was created or um lended uh the BioShock, BioShock property, yeah. property, but now they're in charge of the BioShock property. There's a, there's a new company taking over. And they said it's going to be a couple of years, but there's a new BioShock game in the works, which I'm excited about. That's going to be We'll cool. see. I played all the way through Infinite. Uh Infinite's fun. I watched They're all fun. I watched you play some of two. We never finished it and I don't did think we, did we Did we will. not finish it? No, we're not going to finish that. Okay, I literally just remembered. I was like, "Did we even play BioShock in the chat?" We played BioShock 2. Yeah, that's oh, We I played forgot. a bit and uh just That's uh, what I was serious. I couldn't just, play with single thing. Just about. didn't mesh. Just didn't mesh well. Cuz like I was paying too much attention and there was I mean, that happens a lot where I where I have this uh thing where it's hard for me to really focus like hard on two things at once. Like I'll focus really hard on one thing and sometimes you'll be you you know it, you'll you'll say something and I'll just I won't even hear it. Um, like I love you. I love you. I love you too, Matt. Well, I wasn't saying it just then. I was giving you an example. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't just be saying it. I would hope that you meant it and you wouldn't be using it as some sort of prop in you, a discussion. No, you're literally twisting my words around. I was saying in the past, I've, I've said it to you and you just haven't reciprocated. Is that what you're, tra- are you trying to pin me down as someone who just, you just you, you, like you didn't even acknowledge that I said it? Well, maybe I just didn't hear you. As I said, like maybe I was paying attention to and something that's else. That's part of the problem then. Well, I can't control the way my mind works. I can't help my intelligence. Well, you know what? If you want to keep me in your life, maybe that's something you're going to have to learn to control. Okay, I'll I'll try to I'll try to start. I'll download brain game maps. I'll I'll, I'll start playing a lot of brain games. This whole, this whole podcast is an ad for brain. Games. <laughs> Imagine if we if I we legitimately started being sponsored by a brain game app. Something like yeah, I saved my marriage through uh, brain through, games. Through brain games on a coolmathgames.com. I actually saved my marriage. 
But fuck y'all, I'm gonna go play some cool math games. Is cool math games not gonna be around once Flash dies? Which I found out, by the way, is not in 2020. January 2021 is when Flash goes. Oh, away. okay. So, we, so have... we, we do have next year. Okay, so we so, have a long time to have fun with Flash. I think we're definitely gonna have to do a lot of Flash videos in 2020 because we've always we've we've done our fair share of Flash games on the channel. But I think 2020 we're really gonna have to play a lot. Like we're gonna have to find like the most classic Flash games that we can remember, that the fans remember. Man, y'all remember Flash Flood? Yeah, we we'll have to bring that back. We might just have to play like so many Flash games just because. It, think of our channel as a uh, time capsule, a time capsule, a shuttle for for the. For, for the memories of the past for the children of the future okay yeah you know so we it's we're not we're not just creating funny haha wacky goofy content we're making a time capsule for the future for our children that our children will grow up in a world where there's no flash your children my stepchildren my children and your stepchildren will grow up in a world which my children could even be your stepchildren yeah that's perfectly fine you ever thought about i could marry a woman you could. That is that is very likely that. You All right, and that's the end of that discussion. <laughs> no, I could marry a woman. I could I could grant her permission to my seed, right? Yes. She could she could begat a young Matthew Junior. Mm-hmm. We could get in a messy divorce. Very messy. She could meet you. You guys get married. You could become my kid's stepdad, dude. But you'd still be the dad. I would. I'd be the dad, but you would. Can we actually get, rig like someone's whole perception of reality just so we can like? It's just like two friends. Like, ah, I would love to be a stepdad to your kid. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll marry this girl and, <laughs> and form this fake bond with her for years, and then I'll divorce her naturally. Um, take all the money and everything. Do you think like sociopaths or psychopaths? Do you think they ever play games m very similar to that? Like, like on that in, grand in of life? A scale? Yeah, I'm sure there's people out there that do. That's fucked. I, 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 like. There's people who have completely separate families. Like they 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 cheated on their wife who they have like a few kids with and the unbeknownst to like that family, they have like a newborn at an apartment complex with some other woman. Yeah, no, I I think it's so crazy. Imagine living like that like a double life like that to that, ex double to life that to extent. Where, like they cannot ever interact or yeah. overlap. You have to make sure you stick to like certain areas and shit. That, that, that just sounds like the most mentally exhausting, paranoia-inducing life, you know? That's why a lot of uh, husbands will uh, end up killing their wives and children in the hopes of uh, casting their past aside so they can start porking someone new and fresh. That's not the way to do that. No, um, it's not. Divorce would be the correct way. Yeah, because you can get divorced and abandon your children and still pork someone new. And yeah. In the eyes of the law, you're fine. Exactly. You kill your kids and wife. Uh, so you can you pull a Chris new. Watts, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna have a happy end. Is he the wrestler? No, Chris Watts is just some dude that killed his wife and two kids. There's a lot of dudes that have done, and that. he was having an affair with someone else. Damn, Dude, who was the wrestler that like just killed his wife and kids? Was it due to the brain injury, like the same th stuff that, uh, like in uh, football, um, the brain injuries that caused people to be more violent? I've heard that before. That that's not that there there might be some correlation there between the uh, the impacts of of, of it's the Will trauma movie. on the head focus to right that's what it was called was there a movie about it yeah or I can't remember I think it was called focus about the Will Smith the one. Will Smith tell the truth tell, tell the, the truth. truth that yeah. one no that was called a uh, wasn't was that was that just called concussion concussion yes yeah. Focus was a movie he did with Margot Robbie, maybe, or something. Will Smith has done a lot of movies in the last decade that I think are going to... Uh, I can think of one that you forgot of that I can't even remember the title, but I can give you like what it's about, and you'll be like, oh, shit, I, I completely forgot about that, but I remember it right now. Give me one. Uh, the kind of like... The one where his daughter dies, and like Edward Norton's in it and stuff, and he's being visited by these people because he's given up on life. Yep. I remember seeing the trailer. I could not tell you what, it, what it's called. <laughs> I never saw and it. That's the thing is like that's a, that, those are big, like A list actors. Edward Norton, Will Smith, uh, the girl from uh, not girl, sorry, the woman, the actress from Titanic. What's her name? Like like the Rose? The, that yeah, one? Rose. Really? I think she was in. I think she was in it. Or she Wh was, why do those movies? I don't know. Just never go. It's because they're bad. Yeah, they're bad. But do they still are? Are they made like when 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 studios make those movies? 
they they know they're not going to be a hit. Do they do it because they like, oh, but it's just going to be like a baseline, like money maker, and then everyone's going to forget about it. But it's going to make all of the money. budget's going to go to the cast. It's going to be a low budget to start off with, um, and. Uh, people will come either for the cast or just because it's like a lot of people like familiarity, I believe when it goes, when it comes to cinema. So yeah. most of, most of the movie going audience just kind of like wants to go to the theater to relax and have a good time and, uh, just have fun. Yeah. Cause um, I, I can imagine like if I, uh, lived in the middle of nowhere and had nothing better to do but see a movie and I wasn't up to date movies and I go and I see all these posters. I'm like, what the, I don't know. It's like, oh, Will Smith. Well, I okay. think the perfect audience for those movies, like I remember in high school, it's like, those are m- movies that are mature enough that you can go see on your own, like whether it be on a date or with friends, um, but you can't get into like R-rated movies yet. <clears throat> but yeah. you can go see mature-ish movies that are meant and, and it's, targeted for adults. So it's it you have like it's, it's more m- something to do. Yeah, <clears throat> just like uh, something to do right now for us could be to read some ad reads. Ooh, okay. Hey, you guys like traveling? I know you do. it, And it's the holiday season too, which means you're probably going to be traveling right now more than you ever travel in the rest of the year. And, and what's something that you use when you travel, right? I use a suitcase. That's right. Good Welcome. job. Thank you, man. Thank you. What, what better suitcase to use than one from Away.com? All of Away's suitcases are thoughtfully designed to last a lifetime with durable exteriors that can withstand even the roughest of baggage handlers. And you guys know, uh, at the TSA, they're, they're throwing those bags around. If you ever seen them handle your bag, they Oh, they get, they get mad at the world. They say, this person is going to be reprimanded for the way I feel. And they slam that shit down. And if you have like a laptop or even worse, a fragile gift for a loved one this holiday season, you need a durable suitcase. And every suitcase from Away comes with an interior organization system that includes a built-in compression pad to help you pack more in and a hidden and removable laundry bag that separates your dirty clothes. This might be my favorite feature. It has four 360 degree spinner wheels that guarantee the smoothest roll, even through the most hectic of airports and stations. And a TSA approved combination lock will keep your belongings safe. So, uh, Jackson, actually, uh, I got in a way bag. And uh, I let Jackson borrow it on a trip recently. Okay. And he was raving about how much he loves it. And he talks about it. I, I literally, he actually brings it up like once a week. He's like, okay. oh, I love this bag. <laughs> it's a good it, bag. It like, has dividers and a dirty laundry section. It's all, It's amazing. Away products are designed to last a lifetime. If any part of your suitcase breaks, Away's standout customer service team will arrange to have it fixed or replaced. There's a 100-day trial on everything Away makes. Take the product out. <coughs> out on the road and live with it travel with it get lost with it for a hundred days if you decide it's not for you you can return any non-personalized item for a full refund during the period no if ands or buts no if no double no plural ifs just if no if not a single if Away offers free shipping returns on any order within the contiguous US Europe, Canada and Australia so listen to this guys traveling during the holidays is crazy but getting away you get it, guys? Plan words. Getting away can make every trip a lot more seamless. Visit awaytravel.com slash supermega to learn more. And if you're in the U.S., EU, U.K., Canada, or Australia, order by 11:59 on December 15th for free ground shipping with guaranteed free delivery by December 20th. For additional last-minute holiday shipping details, check out their website, awaytravel.com slash supermega. That's awaytravel.com slash supermega. Now, if there's one thing I want to keep, it's a good suitcase. But more importantly, I want to keep my GD hair. GD stands for... Gosh darn. Yeah, gosh darn. Two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. And you know what the good news is, Matt? What? With today's advancements in science, Keeps offers proven treatments that can combat the symptoms of hair loss and help you keep the hair you have at half the cost of your local pharmacy. It's kind of ironic that Justin just walked into the office when we have this brand new Keeps ad read to do, because if you guys remember last time we did a Keeps ad read, it was when Justin was here, and uh, let me tell you something, Justin's hairline is not looking too good. This is a product he definitely should be using. Uh, You don't have to go broke to avoid going bald, Justin. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA-approved hair loss products out there. Some of you may have tried them before, but probably never for this price. Plus, Keeps now offers a prescription shampoo to keep your scalp healthy, too. And if you're a disgruntled boss that's just cr- trying to throw sh- uh, throw mean slanderizations at his employees because he's he he's not too proud of his own hairline, then keeps his roof revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I 
like how sloppy that was too it's like there's a moment of like silent staring like <laughs> yeah <laughs> prevention is key keeps treatments really work they're up to 90 percent effective at reducing and stopping further hair loss justin the sooner you start using keeps the more uh, hair you'll save. So act fast. Many men even experience hair regrowth with Keeps treatments. Keeps has rev rev revolution. <laughs> revolution. Keeps has revolutionized has re-evolutionized. <laughs> Keeps has revolutionized the way men are treated for hair loss. Thanks to Keeps, you can no longer have to go to the doctor's office for your hair loss prescription. That's embarrassing. Now you can visit a doctor online and get your hair loss medication delivered to your home. No more waiting rooms and no more pharmacy checkout lines. Get doctor attention and discreet drug delivery, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. And but the drug is the hair loss drug, not drugs like cocaine or yeah. Uh, meth or anything like that not just random drugs find out why keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and nearly 100,000 men trust keeps for their hair loss prevention medication keeps treatment started just 10 smackaroonies a month 10 bucks a month plus for a limited time you can get your first month free that's one h of a deal for getting to keep your hair if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss go to keeps.com slash super mega to receive your first month of treatment for free that's k-e-e-p-s dot com slash super mega host must spell out website keeps.com at least once where should we go get dinner with justin tonight? actually no I mean, jackson has a Jackson's place picked up do you I, know where it is i do I, I how do. come it's, is it is it is it a surprise for me too it is yeah uh it, well, is it is it funny he said it's themed it's and when fun. i asked him is it like culturally themed he said not really much it's more on the side of i guess uh kind of more like an a not era themed but it's not really tied to a yeah culture. Yeah, yeah it's it's not i um I actually, the only reason I know it is because when we were getting coffee the other day. Is it because it's white culture that you don't perceive it as culture, though? No. Ryan, white white culture has the richest culture out there. I'm serious. L like, literally speak? has the richest culture. Oh, I actually, I think that's actually China. No, that's like Dubai. But, uh, Dubai. Yeah, I, dude, <laughs> the, dude, Saudi Arabian, like, oil royals. That money is fucking whoa oil royals that rhymes they 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 those guys are some like some of the richest dudes on the planet um but what i was gonna say is I, I drove by it the other day when i was getting coffee and he was like oh that's where i want to take ryan and justin and that's where we're going is it close that. by yes how close would you say well do, oh well don't because the yeah. thing is if we ever reveal where we went people are gonna be like oh, oh okay yeah we're gonna get docs now because the book so he was going to get coffee that means there's coffee somewhere in the vicinity of where the office is yeah, sorry, we were just doxing Ross. I had to cut that part out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go get dinner with Justin. Uh, it is gonna be delicious. And we're gonna record it's no bubble more. Gumps. You and I have uh, been working. Started at eleven a.m. Right now it's nine p.m. And gonna have uh, a late dinner and come back and record for a few more hours. So this is literally a day full of work. But hey, I, yo, yo, I, yo, yo, it's 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 so weird though. Like when when I look at our channel, I'm just kind of like, I've, I'm in my head. Like I'm worried that people feel like we're putting out lazy shit. I do too. I, I'm always like people don't think we're we're working. People think we're just slacking off. But then it, like we have days like this where it's like oh, it's well I guess our work sometimes gets melded into our personal life in general. So oh, it's for sometimes. sure. I also think we're very self conscious people, so we're very quick to judge ourselves. Y'all like, fucking please. release let's plays. Get just wah 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 wah. <laughs> Yo, but you know why we're working so much? It's that grind time, baby. You know what? You know what? It's the holiday season. Guess what? What? I grind. Yo, the dentist told me I grind so much I even do it in my sleep. Ooh. Life life is like a sandwich. No matter which way you flip it, the bread comes first, Ryan. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. That was good, buddy. Jeffrey Epstein did not kill himself.